live from ODU with what they had to say. Mark. Well, Todd, right now the Conference USA logo resting at the 25-yard line here at Ballard Stadium, but its days are numbered. Soon it will be replaced by this. That's the logo of the Sun Belt Conference. And you know, ODU Athletic Director Wood Sealing likening conference realignment to a game of musical chairs. When that music stops, you want to make sure you have the right seat. And in this case, ODU thinks the seat is perfect. Sealing. President Dr. Brian Hemphill and Sunbelt Commissioner Keith Gill among those on hand for today's welcome event. Many ODU coaches and administrators in attendance as well. Now the AD citing student athlete welfare as a big reason for this move. Less travel, less missed class time. He also says it's a lot of like schools committed to national prominence. Hyper fan friendly institutions. ODU will also see plenty of time on the ESPN family of networks thanks to the Sunbelt's TV deal. All the factors adding up to the right fit for Monarch Athletics. I, I think we ended up in a great seat. I don't think there would have been a better fit or a better location for ODU than the Sun Belt Conference. So, uh, you know, if, if you're in the Olympics, uh, we stuck the landing. I, I'd say we got a 10. When you think about the amount of travel, them missing class time, that's important to us. So we need them in competition, close to, to the institution within the region where they can truly focus and do a, a great job in the classroom and in competition. Now ODU will be in Sunbelt membership no later than July 1st of 2023. Any earlier entrance would depend on cooperation between Conference USA and the Sunbelt in regards to bylaws and scheduling. Now we are just beginning our coverage into Old Dominion's transition into the Sunbelt. Coming up this evening, we're going to catch up with some coaches and get their thoughts as to what they see as advantages in this new league. We are live in Norfolk at SB Ballard Stadium. I'm Mark Davis, News 3 Sports.